Okay, <clears throat> hello there YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to do two solar related videos. I haven't done too much solar stuff in a while. But uh, anyway, I think it was a Saturday morning I come outside and I noticed that my solar trackers weren't working. Well, it ended up uh, my battery went dead. Uh, this battery, I don't know if you can see it. Let me move the tripod. It's 9 of 07. <clears throat> I bought that battery brand new and uh, threw it in one of my vehicles and sadly shortly thereafter it had an engine fire and burned the top of the case and I repaired the case and it's been out here since I think 2011 and I believe it's only got like 9 volts in it yeah 9.59 so it's done so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this old battery out I still have my old uh, Morningstar Sunsaver 10 unit, desperately trying to charge. What I've done, I'm going to move the tripod again, so bear with me. What you're looking at there are two Harbor Freight Jump Start batteries that will no longer, uh, they will no longer start a car. But I've had them hooked up to my battery bank. I've been keeping them hot. What they will do is they'll run lights all night long. Anything that doesn't take a heavy amp So that's why I haven't thrown them out. And uh, they're reading like 13.20 volts right now. So I think that will be sufficient to operate the uh, solar trackers. So I'm going to swap this out, put this new battery in, and then I'll come back to you at that point and we'll give it a test. So that's what's happening. And later on today, I have another new video I'm going to show you. It's something you've seen before, but it's quite different. And I'll explain the differences in a little while. But anyway, we're going to do the batteries first. Okay, I'll be back in a Okay, as promised, there's the little battery installed. I'm going to do a voltage test real quick because the uh, lights on my charge controller are nice and bright now. That battery, it's probably uh, real lucky it didn't ruin it. Wow, look at that, 1435. Fantastic. Okay, now for the big test. Once again, bear with me, I am on the tripod. I tried to uh, turn it One moved. Got these two also shut off as well. Ah, look at that. How about that? Put it on manual to demonstrate. And again, this controller controls both of these trackers. Wow, they came back to life. I gotta remember to keep looking through the camera. Send it back the other way. I actually only need one uh, solar controller out here. I could hook it up to all four of these panels. It's too lazy to do so. Alright, that should be way too far east. Let's hit the automatic button again. That one there is moving. This one here is moving as well. Tied in as I said, I could have all four of them working on one controller if I wanted to uh, rewire the system, which I'm really not into. And I don't know what's going on here today, but we're having some winds like you wouldn't believe. This would be a nice day for a uh, wind turbine. Unfortunately, we don't know when we have winds. Unless we get the really bad ones called hurricanes. So anyway, that's the uh, battery. Those were the two uh, Harbor Freight batteries tied in parallel. That wouldn't start cars into jump packs anymore, but as I said, they would run my lights and little lights in the house, LEDs, you know, CFLs, whatever I wanted to run with them. They'd go all night long. So, 
I've had them hooked up to the uh, battery bank with a little jumper wires on them to keep them hot. And there they have 14.35. I'm actually I'm using 30 amps of solar panels, 30 watts rather, Harbor Freight Solar, which is probably twice as much as I need. Probably should take one off. But it doesn't hurt to keep your batteries hot, they last a long time. And as far as this guy down here, seven years later, moment of silence for him. Okay, that's enough. And he's going to go to the uh, scrap pot. We got two bucks piece for him. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope this was entertaining. And uh, talk to you later. Okay, I'm back again really quick because I, I forgot I had my box open. This is the uh, relay kits that I use. I get these off of eBay. I've got the actuator wires which come out of this box. They go into the top of these relays here. And then I have the two actuators tied in on the bottom to run the two solar trackers. I mean, you could have two trackers, four trackers, whatever. These are like 30 amp relays. And then inside, I've showed this before. That's a uh, voltage booster, which I have set at, I think, 18.5 volts, which is a more efficient. But anyway, you can get these on eBay. Uh, I think it's Richard's Foundry or Chewbacca or Richard, something like that. They're like 29 bucks. I bought a bunch of them. I sold a bunch of them. And I think I'm down to like two, but that's what I use. Just take your controller wires, run it into the top at the bottom, run your actuators out of this relay box, and you can control one tractor, two trackers, you know, as many as you've got. Probably they'd do four to six, I should think without too much trouble. They rate it for 30 amps, so never going to use that many. Alright, I just wanted to show that before I put it away. Now I'm ending the video for real this time. Thanks for watching.